it seems that some Core Ultra 9 285K processors throw WHEA errors whenever the E-Core voltage goes above 1.2 volt. Hello and welcome to the very first Checkpoint video. The Checkpoint is a new video series where I want to discuss very specific overclocking topics in a much shorter or briefer format. And in this very first video, I want to talk about something that's bothering my Core Ultra 9 285K. That's specifically this one sample that I have. Whenever I increase the E-Core voltage over 1.2 volt, I get a bunch of WHEA errors. And despite throwing a lot of errors, it doesn't really seem to impact stability or performance. Now, I'll illustrate this behavior in a second, uh, but before that, I do want to mention and highlight again that not every CPU has this issue. I have another sample on hand which doesn't exhibit this problem, and based on talking with other people in the Arrow Lake overclocking scene, it seems that most don't actually have this issue. Also, the Core Ultra 5 245K I overclocked in Scatterventure number 83 didn't exhibit this problem. I also talked about it with a couple of other people in the overclocking scene, and this seems to be an issue that can also occur with retail variants, though it's not quite clear what's the root cause. I did already spend quite a bit of time debugging this issue, and to be honest, haven't found the root cause at all. Maybe it's related to the L2 cache or the memory or the memory controller, but truly that's speculation at this point. What we do know is that it kind of scales with voltage in the sense that a higher voltage will introduce errors quicker and in higher quantity. The easiest way to illustrate the behavior is by simply going into the BIOS and setting the E-Core DLVR voltage to 1.25 volt in override mode. Then go into the operating system and open hardware info. And then you can launch OCCT. Now we can run an OCCT stress test and we see the WHEA errors pop up rather quickly. The errors will continue to rack up even when we sit just idly in the operating system. Even if you don't set the voltage from the BIOS, but you just increase it in the operating system, you can have this kind of a behavior. For example, here I'm booting in with an override voltage of 1.195 volt. And I can run OCCT without getting any errors. However, when I adjust the voltage in the operating system to slightly above 1.2 volt, the WHEA errors start to emerge again. Okay, running 19 minutes. I show here the maximum vid for Ecore is 1.2 and this has been running full load and no hardware errors whatsoever. Also not an OCCT. Okay, pretty standard configuration. So I have the um, TRL for P core, TCRL for P core, uh, TRL for E core, PRL for PCRL for per core ratio limit for E core. And then I set the adaptive voltage for P and I said this to 1.198. Now I'm just going to set this to 1.999. All right. So here, 
can see, so it's like 1.203. Uh, and then just going to run this again. Oh, and there we have a hardware error, and I can just stop this, and then if I leave running long enough, this is just going to rock up and, and go up. So, no idea. Here's another Core Ultra 9285K, and I'll install that one in the system now. Let's now try the same test with the E-Core DLVR voltage set at 1.25 volt. As you can see, there are no errors. I can even set it to well above 1.3 volt and still no errors. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I still haven't figured out the root cause or a workaround. And I talked a bit with other overclocking experts and they also don't really seem to have an idea just yet. If we come up with something, then I'll definitely share it on my blog. For now, it seems that the only thing we can do for these particular CPUs is to keep the E-Core voltage below 1.2 volts, which to be frank, isn't that big of a deal considering it will already make the CPU hit TJ Maxx in all core workloads. All right, that's it for the very first checkpoint. Let me know what you think and see you next time.